Hi, my possum people. I'm coming to you back instead of with a pup date. I got a crazy clink update. So our weather here has been crap. Like, as you can see outside right now, there's rain. We have had just the worst, you know, not, no snow or anything, but just, just ucky weather, just ucky aisle weather. Sorry. Sorry. Um, anyway, this morning driving around, we drove in such dense fog, you couldn't even see through the windshield or out the windows. It was thick and the fog started to dissipate. I had some errands to run. I had to go meet up with my dad's cousin. Um, she had some puppy stuff for me and I drove up there and the winds were so outrageous. It dang near blew me off the road very gray outside so I leave there I have to go get prescriptions sorry my nerves are just I'm frazzled guys I'm frazzled but anyway I just had to say tell this story whether you guys ever see it or not I don't know I just got to tell the story anyway I talked to her for a little bit and the temperature dropped and the winds picked up it was terrible we didn't get a talk long because it was just wretched wind so I was supposed to go pick up the kiddos from the farm and go get our prescriptions uh, down in Sheldon and I was running behind. So I'm like, I'll just leave the kids and that way I can make it in time to pick up my prescriptions because pharmacy closes at two. Now I get across the Iowa border. It's really looking gray out. I'm like, God, it's gonna rain. Get all the way through Sibley, get all the way you know, out of town. Got a couple raindrops falling on the windshield, nothing big get by Ashton and I'm talking to my dad on the phone just letting him know that you know hey I'm gonna go do this and it was raining I said no it's raining right along you know not heavy but it's it's real steady but I said up ahead I said it looks like it's raining pretty hard I better let you go and I had just passed a semi I had a, a brand new Chevy truck right behind me I saw him come out he passed we went around I hung up the phone with my dad and I uh I got into the right-hand lane, and within 10 seconds of that, I had no wheels. I was hydroplaning, and I look at the road, and there is that much slush, and it is downpouring so hard, you can't see anything. I fishtail like this. I went back and forth about six, seven times. Uh, I was correcting, counter-correcting, and I'm like, oh my God, this truck is going to hit me. The semi is going to hit me from behind. And I wasn't slowing down. No brakes, no nothing, nothing, nothing worked. Sorry. That's not so bad. The fishtailing is scary. But then I lost everything and I started... I did full 360s. I went left to right all the way around. I could see the guy's face in the truck that was behind me. I don't know what my face looked like, but I saw his. I was terrified and I was, did not scream nothing. I kept my cool, but in my head I was yelling, please God, please God, please God. And I have never spun out going that fast. And I wasn't driving beyond the road conditions because it hit that fast. I mean, I, was, I had slowed down from 70 to 65 because it started raining and I was still slowing until I, I started hydroplaning. Then there's nothing. You have no steering, you have no brakes, you have nothing. But I was counter correcting as I was spinning. I kept it in the road. I was in the middle of the road and all over the road, but I stayed in the two lanes. The truck had backed off, the semi had backed way off. I finally got it to go straight and I did this and went straight and then started doing big whips. 
and I went sideways a couple times and I just couldn't slow down and it just it was never ending I I don't know how far I did this and whoever the car was from Colorado thank you and the black truck behind me thank you because you guys slowing down protected me and I could where they were side by side I could see where the lane was when I was fishtailing and I there was a bridge coming up a very big bridge right before that bridge I straightened out I went down the center of it I was able to get down to 30 miles an hour and I coasted I went over to the right hand side of the road I was shaking so bad but I kept going the car pulled in behind me the truck was behind him and they just stayed there because I think they thought if, if I pulled over, they were gonna come help me. I, I, I know that's what they were thinking. I never saw the people in the, in, the, in the car from Colorado. I never saw their faces because they were in the other lane, but I saw the truck, the gentleman in the truck. I... I say I'm a good driver. I mean, I've been driving in this Iowa weather since I was 12 years old or younger. But you're never, you're never a good driver when it comes to this weather. Anything can happen at any point in time. I just praise God my kids were not with me. I did not stop and go get them like I promised I would. Because they wanted to come. But I'm like, I'm going to run out of time. I got to get going. Needless to say, the pharmacy closed before I got here. I'm fine with that. Because I got here. I instantly called my dad once I had the car under control. And I was doing 30 miles an hour. I called my dad. I had to talk to somebody. And he goes, girl, girl, all I can tell you is that's some amazing driving. He goes, that was some damn good driving. And that's, he just kept repeating that to me. And my brain, everything just did its own thing. My hands on the wheel, my, my feet on the pedals, and my eyes. Everything was doing their own thing instinctively. And I came out of it. I think I killed my guardian angel. Everything in the car got flipped. My teeth flew out. I think I was going like this so hard. And when I went like this, when I started whipping around I think my tongue pushed them out they went flying and they were in the cup holder in the dr on the passenger side my purse was upside down every I oh but I'm alive I, I just I I drive every single day I drive I do everything I, I, I drive different vehicles you know and this is the first time this has ever happened to me in all my years of driving. And I still can't calm down. It's been over an hour, guys. It's been over an hour ago that this happened. I sat in the car here in the parking lot for, for 15 minutes because my legs were shaking. I had to get calmed down. Then I went in and got, I'm getting stuff for my parents for their anniversary today for an amazing supper we're doing. Um, we're surprising my mom at the hospital. So I'm not gonna post this till after I get it all done. But we're going to surprise her. I'm going to bring my dad in, have a big, beautiful meal at the hospital for her with flowers and chocolates and all that fun stuff. Chocolates for my dad, flowers for the mom. Um, I went in and got all that kind of stuff. My dad called a couple times because he knows how I am, my nerves. And I just got, I got to get my butt home. It's just raining right now, not sleeting. And it was coming down like hail. But it was so thick. I mean, you couldn't see anything. But I'm gonna, I just, I just had to get it off my mind, get it out of my head. My stress is through the roof with my anxiety. I mean, my anxiety is rocking out here somewhere. But I got, I'm set up and I did throw up when I parked. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I had a bag and I 
just threw up and threw up. Nothing locked to throw up with my tiny stomach, but I've gone in the ditch before with the truck. I've snapped the brake lines on the truck going in the ditch. You know, I've had, I've had, you know, accidents. I didn't have an accident today. I lost control of this extremely heavy beast, but it's well balanced. We spun beautifully. If we were at the Olympics, we would have gotten straight tens, man. Even our fish tails were beautiful. Oh, I'm not gonna score it a 10, but I am gonna score it a 10 for keeping me alive and no damage to the car. And I'm gonna be going home very, very slow. So here I go. So just be thankful for your guardian angels. I am. I hope I can resuscitate her soon because God only knows I need her back. So blessed be guys, find your joy, be kind, be humble. And be safe on these dang roads. Love you.